Okay, now I want to take you through a real-world example of how I use Mass Page Creator to uh, assist clients. Uh, in this case, I've got a client that uh, does teak and deck refinishing. Uh, here's their website. Okay, and here's a whole list of cities that they service right here. Okay, their whole service area is right there. So what I want to do is I want to build a page specific to some good keywords for them. Uh, one page for each one of these cities, completely optimized. Okay. Uh, so to do that, we're actually going to use Mass Page Creator to create a template out of a page on their website. So if we go to their Teak Refinishing page here, okay, we're going to use this page as our template, um, but we're going to uh, we're going to use the template editor to spin the text and then also to optimize each page for the local city. All right, so let's go and see how we do that. Okay, so here we are in the control panel, and we're going to go ahead and make a new page. And we're going to go ahead and pop that URL from that page in there, and click New from Page. All right, and this should pull up the site. But you notice there's some problems here. There's some pictures that aren't showing up. And that's going to be really because uh, the path to those pictures is not absolute. Uh, let me show you what I mean by that. If we hit this little 404 button, this tells you what's wrong with the page. Okay, so those pictures are here's how those pictures are referenced. They need to have the URL in front of all this stuff. Okay, so we'll go in and fix that. Uh, we'll just copy this and then we'll do a control F in the source. Okay, we'll go control F meaning find. Okay, so there it is right there, and you can see it's being relatively addressed. What we want to do is go ahead and put our cursor right there and hit absolute domain. Okay. And so what that did was it put in the whole HTTP, the domain.com and all that stuff before that. Okay. Now it's referenced uh, absolutely. So now when we go back to the preview here, you can see the picture showing up. Okay. Let's do the same to this picture. Let's uh, go back into the source and do a 404. Okay, the other picture that was having a problem is this one. Okay, so let's go find that. I'll do a control F. Okay, there it is, right there. Put our cursor right there at the beginning and hit absolute domain. There we go. It puts our HTTP and all that in, and we're good. Let's go back and look. All right. And now both pictures are showing. Okay, so now I want to go through and further optimize this page. Uh, being that this is sort of a lengthy page, I'm going to go ahead and remove all of this stuff in here, all of this uh, header navigation. I'm just going to go ahead and select those and just take them out. Okay, I've got rid of all those. Okay, so I've got all that out of there. All right, so now I'm going to go through and spin all this content. And we'll take a look at see what that looks like. Okay, so I've gone through and spun my content, and you can see here I've got my opening spin indication there, and then uh, all of my spun content here is in spin text format. Okay, uh, so I went through and did all that for my whole article here on the page, and now I'm pretty much ready to build some pages. So let's go ahead and finish this. We'll save this as teakrefinishing.php. And return to the control panel. Right click Add Pages. And we'll use that template file we just created. And in this case, we're going to save that output as index.php. Accept that, close it, puts a little formula in there. Okay. Uh, next thing to do is figure out our path. Now, in this case, uh, we already established a path. Let's go through that again. So, thinking about keyword rich extensions like uh, Teak Refinishing and Teak Restoration and things like that and knowing we want to geo-target the keywords, thinking about how people search, uh, what we're going to do is go domain.com, keyword slash, and then another keyword, and the city uh, index does. So uh, what that would look like in this case is right here. Okay, so that's the URL uh, we want to plan for. All right, so let's go build our control panel to make that. Okay, so in path one we had uh, our keyword, and that was teak. Refinishing. Okay, slash because we want it to have a, a slash in there. 
like that right there. Okay. And then our next one is going to be keyword two. Okay. And that one's going to be teak restoration in. And then our next one is actually going to be our list of cities. Okay. And I'll go ahead and paste my cities in there from the site. As you remember, they were down here at the bottom. So I'll go through here and just separate all these out, paste those in. Okay, so I pasted those in there, but you can see how uh, this is all in sentence case. And so if I build a blueprint, you'll see my URL is going to have those capitalized, uh, those capitalized words. I don't want that. Uh, I want all lowercase. So what I'll do here is right click, letter case, and make them all lowercase. All done. Okay. Uh, now down here. Uh, in my variables. The one I want to use on the pages is city. And in this case, I'm going to use a formula because I want to use the city that's in the path in the page. And to do that, I'll create a formula. Which to path replaces the variable for city. And we're done. All right, let's build a blueprint. Take a look at what gets created. And there we go. There's, that's going to be my path. We have index.php, and you can see all the cities match up here. Okay, so let's build the pages. Okay, built 101 pages. Let's just take a look at the one for El Monte, and you can see El Monte is used in the page. Okay, uh, in multiple locations, anywhere I put that variable to be used. Uh, all the way in including the metadata for the file uh, is all optimized for El Monte. Okay, let's go back and look at another one. Okay, Glendale. There's the one for Glendale. Okay, and you can see as you read through this content, uh, it's all been spun to be unique. Okay, uh, let's take a look at another one, Inglewood. Okay, so you can see what I've done. I've created pages with unique content, 101 of them all in the span of just uh, a few minutes. It probably took longer to explain than uh, it would take to actually build these. Okay. Um, all right. So a couple of things I want to point out <clears throat> in the control panel when I did this. One was that I could toggle the letter case. Okay. I could make all these lowercase or I could make them all uppercase. Okay. Um, so that's one feature you might not have known about. All right. The other one is that you notice my path. Uh, Take restoration in, and then there's going to be a hyphen to the city, right? But the first path had a slash because I wanted that to be its own directory so that when I build a blueprint, I get the URL that I planned for, right? Keyword there, slash, and then teak restoration in, and then the city, okay? All right, so that's a real world example of how I've used uh, Mass Page Creator for clients uh, to build hundreds of fully optimized pages. Uh, now I could go back to this client's site and I could go back to his deck refinishing, deck restoration page, and I could do the same thing for uh, deck refinishing and deck restoration and geo target those and build another 100 pages for those. Okay, uh, same thing with all of his other services here. So you get a picture pretty quickly of, uh, of how you could uh, you know, do pretty well um, building hundreds of pages for clients. Uh, these pages I have seen index. And I have seen rankings without doing anything, um, much less if you build just even one or two backlinks uh, to the site. And I'll be making another video showing <coughs> uh, pages that have no backlinks or very few backlinks uh, using the exact same content uh, that are actually ranking and doing well. Okay, so we'll go on to the next video.